Hey, what's going on out there? This is Charles again. And uh, I've got a few things I just got shipped to me the last couple days. I wanted to show you. I will go in detail on uh, this one in the middle. So that will be my next video. And if you guys see something on here that you want to see a little more information on it, um, I can try to cover it. And then some of them I've made a video on uh, a different one that I owned, but I just purchased one and had it ship here on that. And I'll tell you what it is when, it, when we go through here. <coughs> Anyway, it's kind of like Christmas again. Now, I was really worried about uh, <laughs> receiving this stuff. There's a couple things. There was some problem with uh, me trying to pay with PayPal. And it kept um, shifting to a different payment. <laughs> and uh, I thought it w the purchase wasn't even going to happen. But uh, I ended up fixing everything and moving money and things like that. Um, so they did ship my stuff. Um, another thing is I am in Seattle and, uh, you know, we've got the COVID, uh, 19 or coronavirus, uh, rampant around here. Um, possibly I may have even had it already. Um, I did go to the doctor and they tested me for flu and it was a negative on that testing. So, um, you know, <clears throat> but I, I had, uh, you know, problems with my respiratory, um, stuff kind of similar to the flu, but, uh, whatever. I hope I got it and I just survived it. And then hopefully I'm, uh, resistant to, you know, whatever other strains I heard. There's two strains. All right, let's go to the good stuff though. Let's talk about. This, I mean, you've seen these uh, many more knives. Um, so I buy numerous of these at a time, and then um, I give them to family, friends. I mean, it's a great little gift. Um, I also sometimes I'll I'll resell them on eBay at a reasonable price, you know, um, but it will still give me small profit. And doing that helps me pay for my shipping. So when I get stuff from Sweden, um, I know that I'm going to pay, you know, $120 in shipping just because of where my sources are from or in the middle of nowhere. And so it's very expensive if I get anything over, you know, one kilogram or 2.2 um, pounds so then I have to buy numerous things and then sometimes I'll resell things to to pay for that uh, shipping and things like that so that's why I've got another one of those uh, and I can't pronounce it but Gwen's Forsbrook um, axes um, I'm I'm thinking I might keep this Swedish army Axe. This is from, I think it's 1942. Yes, 1942. And I can't say the name, but it's Call of Force uh, Brook, um, which is a place that closed down in the late 60s. Um, anyway, um, and I've shown that briefly in other videos, but that thing is about the same size as let's say the small forest axe from um, Grand Forest Brook. Um, just to give you an idea, so this is about 21, 20, uh, 22 inches long. Um, I decided I finally wanted to get one of these draw knives because um, I do, you know, I've, I've been trying to make a uh, shaft or haft or handle for my large tomahawk and I I can't find any pre-made ones that will fit uh, you've seen that before but it's a blue it's a tomahawk head so it's got that more oval large oval size 
uh, but I cannot find those things anywhere where I can purchase it. So I'm going to end up using like a, uh, um, get what, see, I can't even speak again now because I've been tired because I've been kind of sick. Um, anyway, you know, a pickaxe, a pickaxe, you know, like a large pickaxe handle. I want to, um, use this and kind of make it thinner so then I can put that on my uh, tomahawk head and uh, so I like this this is made in more Sweden this is was it E. Johnson or Johnson I mean you know since I'm I speak English we would say E. Johnson but um, I know it's pronounced differently and I apologize I don't speak that language uh then I can never have too many backpacks. Um, I gave away one of my LK forty or thirty fives, and so I had to get another one to replace it. This one's nice. This was made in what nineteen ninety three crowns, and the stamp is the eight 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 eight. I don't know if, where that was made at. I mean, it may have been made in. Um, Austria by is it Lito or Lito L I T T O, but I'm not sure. Um, I can't, yeah, I don't have some key to tell you exactly where these things are made, but this thing's completely unused, brand new, got all the stamps on there, everything. I mean, there's maybe there's some minor scratches from thing, but uh. Let's go. Next one. Can't have too many uh, gas mask bags. So this is just one of the M30 Swedish M36 um, gas mask bags. Uh, this is kind of what I don't like though is um, I can't see everything that I get. You know what which specific thing I'm getting, but you know when. Uh, my contact says that these things are like, like new. This tells me it's not like new. Um, this is still in great condition. I mean, come on, give me a break. This thing is what, um, 80 years old, approximately. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, and part of the reason I got this is uh, you know, there was somebody watching to see, see if I was selling one. I may try to sell one. I mean, sometimes I can make a little bit of profit on those and sometimes not. Um, luckily, I use mine and I may wear them out. So it's fine with me to have extra one of these. But, uh, you know, for me to ship this thing over and everything like that, there's usually not too much margin on that uh, sometimes i just get things so i have a bigger assort assortment on uh, ebay uh, so they're not just always looking at the same items and things that tie into it and you know sometimes i i can make a little bit of profit on them but most of the time not uh all right so you've seen this one before this is one of my first videos from a long time ago i can recut i can cover that again if you want, but this is just a, a little, I think you say it, Renzel, um, knapsack or rucksack. Of course, I can't really open this real quick here, but let's see. This thing was made in 1911. Okay, so this is a M, it's a M05 or M1905 series. Um knapsack or little backpack whatever you want to call it let me see if I can um, this thing's built solid I mean this has heavy duty um, like a canvas on there I mean this thing's cool go you can't get this dang thing open <coughs> Yeah, you take a look at all this this leather on here. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at this back on here, this is all leather on this back as well. 
Oh, let's see. Now this is from 1910. I'm sorry. Maybe the fabric on this was made in 1911. Um, the, some of the components. But th this is all original. Uh, this is awesome. It also says it's from the I-16. So that's what the six, uh, 16th um, Infantry Regiment. I'm not sure what the 6O means. Um, you know, if you guys know what it, what those mean, even better, please just post it on there. Let me know. Um, these things, um, you've got all these flaps. You've got these leather straps inside of here. Okay, so I can't show you too well, right? But uh, anyway, these. so this thing open. You put your stuff in there. And then you use these flaps to secure this thing, and then you cover it with this um, strap. Um, now you have straps here for your fighting shovel or a hatchet or an axe. And then this main one is used for the uh, M1895 mess kit but it also works with other mess kits because it's about the same diameter so I have put like the Swiss version the German version the newer M 1940 uh, Swedish mess kits inside of this main strap and like I said that's where your other stuff goes uh, then you've got attachment points so if you want to put a bedroll you've got these will go through there. You can have like a, a replacement shirt or socks in the small flap. Um, this thing's kind of boxy. Um, and then you also have the straps on the sides here, which are meant for like a over, sorry. And these are made for an overcoat or a bedroll to go around the sides. Up the top because you got the strap up there and down to the other side um, now they did make a M1915 version of this so from the back side everything is the same or on the front um, but on the back against your back instead of leather they have more of this canvas there um, probably save money um, and I'm sure it made it less uh, less tough though because I've seen some old pictures in the Swedish Digital Museum of the M 1915s and, and they're always kind of torn up on that back against uh, the back there and they're beat like heck I mean this thing has hardly been used um, the previous one I had was made in 1913, and I um, basically cleaned it up, um, refurbished it. I, you know, I didn't change any anything on this. I just cleaned and treated the leather, um, hand washed all this stuff. I mean, it looked great. That's what I'm going to do with this. And this one, I think I'm going to um, keep... Um, because, you know, when can you find these things? If you want to see more, look at my old video. Or if you have some other questions on that, let me know. Sorry, I'm just dragging it out. I love all this crap. Um, then I've got this uh, Austrian... I guess it's... A lot of people call it the uh, combat... Um, bag or backpack. But uh, anyway, I found, you know... I get. All these things come from different places. Um, this one I found on uh, Poshmark. Yeah. Um, and I'll, this is the one I'm going to do a video on uh, next. And I, I, I got the two bags. So here's more like a little assault bag type of thing. I guess you can wear it like a shoulder strap as well. And... Uh, this thing's nylon. This was made 
Gosh, uh, where's that tag? I think it's like 1984, 1987. And the stamps is, uh, I'll go in detail when I actually do these, but uh, I think it's made by, uh, oh, there we are. I think you say it, Lito, L-I-T-T-O, in uh, Vienna. Yeah, so 1987, at least on the small bag. This bag was, might be made at the same time, might be, you know, around that time. It doesn't matter. Um, and it comes with, instead of like real straps, and so just to show you, you'll see in the big video, I was looking to see how I could put on like an Alice straps, which I was able to do. But they just come with these. So these things are supposed to go on your um, combat belt um, or load belt. And then it just has these hooks on there. Uh, this thing is about the same size as an Alice pack, the medium Alice pack. So I just don't, number one, I don't like to wear that, that belt and uh and then wear this and it just doesn't look like it would be comfortable if you actually stuff this stuff uh stuffed it with things and carried it I and mean, maybe it is uh, i've never seen anybody on youtube though say hey this is really comfortable and i carried it blah 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 they just show it when they first get it and say oh i like this thing um i'm gonna say no but i'm also gonna show you on options to carry this thing as well as the smaller one anyway thanks again very long-winded i hope you're having a great day have any questions put it on there thanks